And you should know how many people drink on every Shabbat and every occasion from wines. It's definitely the energy that gives back to your family. It's not possible that not, because every time people celebrate, one out of 30 families are drinking plum wines in, in the States and all over the world. This is amazing, no, to a story for years to come, because people grow up seeing plum and they connect with it. It's, it's like you sort of um, uh, have, a, you have something with the family, like on Purim. There's probably one out of two houses that have your wines out of a gift, or out of somebody drank it, or somebody got drunk and threw it up. You know, there's some, <laughs> your wine is is it's, is there. It's culture and it's and uh, it's, uh, it's awesome. It's, so uh, I will bring our new wines, the Camellia. The I would Camellia. love to try it. Okay. Ah, that's exciting. Yeah. I'm very excited to try this wine. Can so, I smell it, or yeah. we have no, to talk no, about it for an hour? No, 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 you have to look at it. <laughs> she <laughs> loves it. <laughs> We're swirling the glass so we can open it up a little bit of oxygen. Uh, open in the glass and warm it. It should be drunk. It. Then yeah, it's a little too cold, right? But it will warm up. For an age, yeah. what, uh, what grapes is it? This is 90% Chardonnay and 10% uh, Sauvignon Blanc. But the idea is not only the grapes or not really the grapes. The idea is really the vineyard which is coming from here uh, 8 miles. Uh, is it aged oak? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one uh, has been uh, grown in the Mata Vineyard. Mata Vineyard is our main vineyard in Judanians, which is uh, in, uh, located at 650 meters above sea level, which means we have uh, very fresh nights even during summertime. The elevation really lets the temperature drop to around uh, 15, 16 degrees Celsius during the night. And then the vineyards are located in the, in the bottom of the valley, which means we have uh, our friend uh, Bob. Fogs, Bob. Fogs the during the morning. Wow, yeah. Yeah. During the morning, it's been captured in the valley, so it keeps the temperatures quite low during the early morning hours till uh, 10, 11 o'clock. Uh, that makes the, the grapes ripe later? Later and keeps the freshness and the high acidity and the low pH of the wine. It keeps give this uh, fresh character. I can, which I'm smell, I can smell the the, a the, bit the minerality and uh, and the, the fruit. I can is smell here. like honey nuts or like. A yeah, this is coming from more the surli, and the wine has been fermented and aged on these leaves for seven months in uh, French oak barrels. So I smell toast from the oak barrels or the grapes. No, from the old barrels, but you will have the freshness of the palate and you will have the, the fruit and a bit minerality uh, from the limestone the wine has been grown. So, it smells similar to uh, Chablis style wine when you when it gets deeper into the nose. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's so interesting so, because it's 90% uh, Chardonnay. No, oh, it's 90% Chardonnay. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's different than all Israeli wines because when I try a lot of other Chardonnays in Israel, I'm not talking about Castel has the Chablis, but most of them like um, has the more. fruit forward, yeah, California, so, Russian River smell. Yeah, right. And fine. this has the, this and has I the love beef. French wine. I know you went to Israel because of Jews, all these stories are great, <laughs> but French wines are great. You're right. And, and also, they, so this is the story. Actually, at the beginning I was making... I'm going to taste it, but you can talk. Okay, I was making, the philosophy <laughs> was to make a white which will give all the... All the stage it's beautiful because it has the acidity of the Sauvignon Blanc, so, the crisp, but, yeah, but then the, the rich open yeah. and it has length and it has a bit uh, exactly. more um, uh, volume Deeper. on the palate. It volume will go great maybe with like this fish or even Bravo, chicken. I think this one in a few years, I think this one will age because of the depth of oak, like most Chardonnays won't age. I think it would be beautiful even with deeper foods and it will overpower like burgundy wines or, or even your plum classic or new ones. Yeah. I think if you try this wine in four years from now, 2022 versus 2022 plum classico, this should be the second wine. Yeah, exactly. Because it will get like it, layers it will, and deeper. Uh, develop very, very nice. It's very and nice and I'm very excited to try it. So and, uh, if we are talking about the oak, the idea of the oak, there is a whole philosophy regarding the oak that I'm... I was looking to keep the idea of the vineyard in the bottle. I'm and not, not eating because I'm hungry, I'm eating to see uh, how it feels. Uh, <laughs> and not to harm 
not to harm these beautiful fruits because uh, I feel really very lucky. So you just that, did uh, light oak on it. So I used uh, a used oak. I bought three years old French oak, used oak, bag. used oak, and the only new oak I was working with was uh, 500 liters. So it's so big it's, enough, it's big so enough that it not to uh, cover not to the save fruit. money, just to wine to yeah, taste now better. The, these 500 liters is very, very expensive because the producer in um, uh, in France is the really cooper. was the cooper was really looking for a very, very, very light toasting after a long, long research for winemakers like me who are looking really to respect the terroir that we are very interesting. Um, do you think eventually people will try Israeli oak for what? Or Israeli oak? Yeah. Just no, like they do you. French oak. No. No, no, no way. Why? What's no good? forest? No, no forest. There is no, no, there is no such a thing. No, I don't know nothing about wine. I'm learning. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> but they won't. <laughs> you're telling me that Israel. You have oak trees in Israel, but they're that high. It's good for to get drunk, uh, little people or kids. <laughs> but I, I, I think that eventually, Israel, when I think they'll be able to use oak, when they'll be able to make Burgundy wines, which is never gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, we will make Judean Hills wines, no Burgundy wines. Oh, we should okay. do cheers again? Yeah. Cheers. 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 To life, to the Plum family. Yeah. Cheers.